All right, so you wanna use a half a can of um, pumpkin puree. This one is 15 ounces, so there's about, I'm gonna have a little bit more, seven and a half or so ounces of that. Next, we're going to add one pack, eight ounces of cream cheese. And you wanna make sure that that is soft at room temperature, or if you forget, like I do, I just throw it in the oven for a few minutes and it softens right up. Next, what you wanna add is some whipped topping. I always have this stuff handy in the fridge. And we're gonna use about half of that whole container, just like so. Maybe a little bit more, because I like, I like my things whippy. Perfect. Now, for any delicious dessert, you always want some powdered sugar. And we're going to add a half a cup of that. Now, I've recently found there is a brand that's like sugarless powdered sugar. So if you want, I think it's called Swerve. If you want to try to reduce some of the sugar content in your dips and frostings, go ahead and pick that up. I think I saw it on Amazon. It's called Swerve. Now I'm just going to start in with my wire whisk. I'm just start stirring that up as much as possible. And use your eye, if you want things a little more creamy, you can go ahead and add a little more whipped cream, which is what I'm gonna do. Let's go ahead and add some apple pie spice. This is what's gonna give it a really fun autumn flavor. Good for like Thanksgiving, Halloween parties. And now some pumpkin pie spice. And we're using one teaspoon of each. All right, now I'm just going to, I guess I'm gonna use that whole container. Put the remaining whipped cream right in there. All right, and I'm just gonna stir that on up, get those spices well mixed in there. Use your wire whisk to help scrape the edges. Now, if you want yours really smooth, I would go ahead and use a hand mixer before you put in your whipped cream and then fold that in by hand. But I like my dips a little lumpy, as you can see with that cream cheese. Gives it a little extra richness, I feel. And it's just that easy, guys. That is our pumpkin pie dip. I'm gonna go ahead and slice up an apple I have. So I just have a regular apple. We're going to use a core and press down just like so. Pick that out. Take one of these slices, little wedges right here. And now we're just gonna go in and dip that bad boy up. Mm-hmm, that is so good. Try this for your party and let me know.